Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, I'm Nocturne and I'm a tarot reader here on YouTube. I hope you guys are well. I hope we're staying safe. I hope you're having an amazing day and today we are going to be doing a and a video. This is going to be part two. If, if you guys haven't seen part one, I will link it somewhere on the screen now. But yeah, for those of you guys who don't know what my Q&A videos are, basically each month I get asked questions from my patrons over at Patreon and I choose some to answer here on YouTube. So as this video is compiling various questions on different people i am going to try and be as short and succinct as i can if there are any of the topics discussed today that you'd like me to do a standalone reading to do let me know in the comment section below as usual guys i just want to make a quick disclaimer i'm not going to be divulging too much into each person's personal lives out of respect for them and for whomever i do a reading about in the future if you guys are interested in any of the cards i use would like to join me on patreon or would like to get a private reading for yourself i'll have it linked in the description box below but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the reading. First question is, how is the relationship between Exo Kai and Red Velvet Soul Gear? Are they friends and can there be something more in the future? Okay, Exo Kai and Red Velvet Soul Gear, are they friends? Exo Kai and Red Velvet Soul Gear. Oh, <laughs> let me just fix that. There we go. Okay, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, and we have the Six of Swords. Interesting. Hmm. So actually, guys, at some point, yes, they were friends. Um, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. The Three of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Wands. Oh, I just realized everything is very off-center. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Um, okay, I will be honest, it does feel like at some point they were closer. Um, there was a feeling of, I respect you, uh, admiration <laughs> is what I was going to say. There's a feeling of admiration, so I admire you, you admire me. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So at some point, we have the Nine of Swords twice now, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse and one upright so it does feel like they had a friendship definitely definitely a friendship but at some point they decided to go their separate ways it just didn't work out with the five of pentacles i don't think they felt like they were getting anything they were getting what they wanted out of the friendship like maybe one person wasn't investing as much in the friendship as the other one so one of them started like retreating okay and maybe not making plans anymore maybe they used to make plans and then they stopped making plans together things like that so in regards to a connection definitely there used to be a friendship there i don't think they're as close anymore um is there a possibility for something more in the future there's a card here. We have the star in reverse, the full in reverse, and the six of pentacles. I think there is an opportunity for them to work together again in the future, definitely. Um, working together, doing something together, being seen in a working environment. But when it comes to a more personal relationship, I think that ship has sailed a little bit. But will there be a chance of them being seen working together? Definitely. Um, but yeah. Okay, thank you so much, guys. So... Now let's go to the next question. Next question is black, pink, rosé, and D DPR? DPR, Ian, Christian, you, friendship. DPR, Ian? Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. Uh, black, pink, rosé, and DPR, Ian, friendship. Black, pink, rosé, and DPR, Ian, friendship. So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. Wait, was it in reverse or I'm just going to take it in reverse. We have the Sun, Page of Cups, Nine of Cups. I'm just going to grab a few more cards. Yes, guys. Black, Pink, Rosé and DPRN. I think there's... Um, 
they know each other. I definitely see with the Sun and the Page of Cups, they have been in contact because they respect each other. Okay, with the Sun, it's almost like, oh, I admire you. I think you're very talented. I think you're very good at what you do. And with the Page of Cups, someone has reached out. They're, they're in contact. Are they best friends? I wouldn't say they're best friends. I don't see them having had made that many memories together or anything like that. But are they in contact and do they know each other? And have they spoken to each other? Yes, 100%. Um, I think with the Queen of Wands here, with the Six of Wands here, I think they both think of each other as winners, like, oh, you're so good at what you do kind of thing. It's not the kind of friendship where ah, I can tell you everything. No, they still kind of keep to themselves is what I'm trying to say. Okay, they're not BFFs just yet. Is there possibilities that they're going to be BFFs or anything like that? I think for right now it's more admiring and I wouldn't even be surprised if they watch each other or like or they stay updated on each other's uh you know activities through social media like oh he's doing this oh she's doing that kind of thing I think actually with it oh my gosh you guys with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups here I actually think if they were to collaborate, if they were to come together on in any shape of, or form, whether it's a collaboration working together or whether they want to explore a relationship one day, if they do do that, they would bring a lot of luck and success to each other. They balance each other very, very well. And it would affect all aspects of their lives. So if they were to ever do a collaboration, it would be so successful. If they were to ever explore a relationship, it would make them rich as well. Do you know what I mean? Things like that. Um, but yeah, for now, I think they just have a, a very friendly connection from the distance, updated, update, uh, kind of staying up to date about each other, things like that. But it's you know, but anyways, I'm saying that, yeah, the potential for them, if they were to come together, uh, would be amazing. Um, okay, thank you so much, guys. So now let's go into the next question. Next question is... TXT Subin and Yeonjun friendship current energy. Okay, TXT Subin and Yeonjun. Ooh. Sorry, I just got something later. Okay. TXT Subin and Yeonjun, friendship current energy. Their connection is like Katy Perry's song. <laughs> Their connection is very much like Katy Perry's song, you know, like you're hot and you're cold, you're yes and you're no. You're in and yeah, out. Um, yeah, it is intense friendship, you guys. It is intense. It is. They bicker. They fight. They get into disagreements, and then they get along. It's a lot. What is going on? Um, I think here's the thing. I think. Um, I'm not saying they don't love each other. I'm just saying their connection and their friendship is uh, feels quite intense, okay? And I felt it, you know, earlier when I was shuffling and I said, ooh, I got something, but I'll wait. Um, it does feel very much like hot and cold, kind of like we're very close and then you pull apart or something like that. I think, uh, here's the thing, they're kind of like very different people. I think one of them with a page of wands is someone that is like, what's wrong? How are you feeling? Tell me about your feelings. Let me explore your feelings. And the other one is like, I'm feeling too much because I'm feeling too much. I don't want to tell you how I'm feeling. I just want to be on my own. And the other person's like, no, 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 talk to me, talk to me. And then that annoys the person that wants to be alone. Okay, so it feels like that. So one person is almost like like a puppy and the, one, the other one's like a cat. Um, I think it's a um, complicated friendship because I do see that they care about each other but at the same time one of them needs to learn to share his burdens because I do see that one of them when he's feeling anxious when he's going through a lot when he's overwhelmed he carries the weight on his own shoulders and all the other person wants is to be helpful is to be the kind of friend that is able to be there for the other person look 
look guys we have the three of swords again in reverse twice and we have the page of wands upright twice one of them is literally like hey what's wrong let me help I'll help you find a solution. But the other person is like, no, when I'm heartbroken or when I'm hurt, when I'm overwhelmed, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. And that person is like, come, I want to, you know, I want to give you tea. Let me help you. And the other person's like, no. So it's a love-hate relationship. I'm not saying like hate as in hate, but their friendship is beautiful. But until they learn how the other person works, like that synergy, I think they will always end up bickering at some point, okay? Obviously, it's not like a, I hate you kind of thing. No, it's just about different personalities is what I'm trying to say. And obviously, the, they love each other so much. Otherwise, this page of wands wouldn't try so hard, you know? Um, okay, thank you so much, guys. The next question is, how is the friendship between Young and J-Hope? Young and J-Hope. Young and j-hope Ooh, love it Ooh, they're closer than ever right now oh you guys you know what they were never as they were never as close as they are now is what i'm trying to say so in the past i don't think they understood each other the way they have now something has happened something has clicked in the last maybe like five months where the pa it's almost like ah i get you now i totally get what you're about and i appreciate what you're about i appreciate you so much it's almost like they operate and vibrate on the same level now the kind of synergy the kind of friendship the kind of partnership that they have with one another is so special now it's almost like you're a wish come true you are seriously a light at the end of the tunnel for me like they say that to each other i appreciate you so much i love you so much i think you're the best Honestly, their friendship has never been as great as it is now. They get one another now. They understand each other. They're very open and vulnerable with one another. They're able to connect. They're able to share their thoughts. Um, they appreciate each other. They're more vocal about their appreciations for one another. They just get it. Their friendship has leveled up. Okay, so their friendship is at an all-time high right now. It's the best it's been in a very, very long time. Anything else, guys? Anything else in regards to their connection? Um, Taeyang and J-Hope. Yeah, there's there's almost like this union that's happened lately where they feel like, ah, you complete me. <laughs> they've been they've been almost like giving each other pep talks, but also like words of affirmation, like, oh my gosh, I appreciate you so much, you know, you're so amazing. Like it's almost like a new union, like they they just get one another now in a very profound way. And they're, they feel very grateful for each other, which is something that's very beautiful. Um, okay, another question about J-Hope. Is J-Hope dating? Okay, um, let's just see about his current connections, okay? Is uh, J-Hope's current connections? J-Hope, current connection, do you want to come out? So, <clears throat> I think I did a reading for this not long ago right? Um, so he was in a relationship or he did have a connection in the past and it didn't work out. And because that connection didn't work out, it's almost like he's like, you know what? I don't want to, that's not something on my mind right now, but something has shifted quite recently. I do see that with the eight of pentacles in reverse, the moon upright, the three of pentacles in reverse, the knight of cups in reverse, the four of wands upright and the two of wands upright. Even though he's not fully ready to commit 100% to someone again, he's starting to. He's starting to dip his toes again and think, you know what? I do want that. What I want ultimately is a partner and someone that's going to celebrate my wins and my lows um, and it's going to be there for me during my lows and I also celebrate their wins and I'm there for them during their lows. I want that. He's starting to wrap his mind again around the idea that I do want that. I, I do want to get married. So I do feel like slowly but surely he's opening up again his heart to love. Um, I feel like he had closed it for quite a bit it wasn't even on his radar but now i think he's ready even though he's still a little bit you know but look at this you guys how beautiful how beautiful we had the eight of pentacles in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse okay and now we have the eight of pentacles upright and the three of pentacles upright in the past he was like i don't really want to work on that i don't really want to think about being in a relationship yet i don't want to think of it because the people that i thought were going to be good partners for me or a good 
you know, vibe with me, it didn't work out. But now he's starting to like, you know, dip his toes again. You know what? I can do it slowly but surely. It doesn't mean that the next person is the person I'm going to marry. But I'm going to open up and not be so kind of like, uh, what should I say this? It's kind of uh, pessimistic. I'm not going to be so pessimistic. I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket, but I'm ready to start seeing again what's out there for me. Um, but yeah, okay, thank you so much, guys. So now let's go to the next question. Okay, next question is an update on Lisa and Frederick's connection. Lisa and Frederick's connection. Okay. So I was going to do a standalone reading for this. So do let me know, guys, if you still want me to. Okay, let me just grab a few more cards. Lisa and Frederick. One more. Lisa and Frederick, current energy. I did do a reading for Lisa a few months ago. Um, okay, so <laughs> guys, I don't know what you want me to say because I have to be honest, okay, with the messages that I see and the cards that I do get. I don't know how things are being perceived or how things are being shown, but I just have to be honest with the messages that I get, right? So we have... <clears throat> okay, so we have the... I'm. I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, we have Temperance, we have the Two of Cups in reverse, we have the Sun in reverse, Knight of Swords, Death Upright, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and we have the Golden Mirror, which is self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So in regards to their connection right now, I will say it is not the best. We have uh, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which means that something that was extremely valuable or something that was worth in gold doesn't feel like it's a uh, number one priority anymore. So maybe some this was like the number one thing that was the focus for maybe uh, Lisa or Fred or something like that. But in this current situation in time, there's just a lot of things in their way. Okay, so uh, we have we do have the Three of Swords and we do have the Temperance. This is not a make it or break it kind of situation. It doesn't mean a do or die. It's just a phase where things feel a little bit more difficult. So this is something that can be fixed. You just have to be patient, okay? Because currently it's not in the forefront of maybe Lisa or Fred's mind. One of them, okay? One of them is really focused on other things so it's not able to prioritize this connection is what i'm trying to say um there are a few issues um i feel like maybe feeling exhausted or feeling overwhelmed may lead to sometimes words being said that you don't mean um but either way i just feel like it's definitely not the priority right now this connection is not the priority it is one-sided so it does feel like one person is able to give more than the other so you know maybe one person is really trying hard but the other person is just not able to meet them at their level one person is like come on you know it's okay i can fulfill your desires while you're you know while you're feeling overwhelmed i can you know carry the burden or carry the weight for both of us but the other person is like please just give me a break for a second you know again like i said this isn't like a do or die situation even though it is difficult right now i feel like it's something that can be fixed with patience and with timing. Right now is just the not the right time to be putting all your eggs in one basket is all I'm gonna say. Um, but there is a lot to unpack. So yeah, I'm happy to do a standalone reading for this. Yeah, okay. Next question is, is Nicola Coughlin and Jake Dunn connection? Also, how does Jake Newton feel about this connection? So Nicola Coughlin and Jake Dunn. Nicola Coughlin and Jake Dunn.
I think right now <laughs> there is a feeling that they're really getting swept away in the newness and excitement of it all. There's almost like this message of like, don't get carried away, okay? Because I do think there is attraction. There's definitely chemistry there. I think it does feel very exciting because it's very different from what they experienced prior to this. So I feel like Nicola is very different to maybe um, people that Jake is usually... Um, close with and Jake is very different to the type of people that Nicola is usually close with so there's excitement it's buzzing it's chemistry but there's almost this feeling of like you're getting swept away by it all um it does feel like I think once the excitement wears off and they get down to the nitty-gritty they'll realize oh actually I don't know how compatible we really are there's definitely a lot of attraction there there's definitely a lot of chemistry there I don't think it's strong enough to like carry on to something a little bit more serious. I don't think it's going to be something that is long term. For now, it's very exciting because it offers change. It offers excitement. It offers something new. But I just feel like, yeah, for now anyway, in current energy, if it keeps going the way it is, I don't necessarily think this is going to be something that will you know, like last a very, very long time. Uh, we do have the Grim Reaper here and the Axe. So again, um, it is something that is exciting for now. It's something that is fresh. It's something that is new. But in terms of love relationship, I don't think it's going to go to that. Type. Like they could be friends for a very long time. You know, they could have a situation ship for a while, but I don't think it's going to progress to that stage um, where it's love and, you know, like anything serious like that. Um, but yeah, next question is, um, how does Luke Newton feel about this connection? How does Luke Newton feel about this connection? Okay, how does Luke Newton feel about this connection? He, he is very honest, huh? He is very good at communicating and I think him and Nicola have a very clear um, communication style, okay? Um, so we have the Ace of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Magician in Reverse, the Two of Wands in Reverse, the Ten of Cups in Reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, Temperance and Strength. So. Yeah, I think Nicola and Luke are very, very good friends because I can see here that he's able to be very honest with her. It does seem like he's not necessarily the most excited about this connection. I think he's very much like very honest with her that he thinks, yo, slow it down. This is not necessarily something that I see for you, especially with the magician in reverse. I think he's like, I don't see this kind of connection for you. I think he's just able to be very open and communicative. I don't think... It's, it's not necessarily that he thinks anyone is bad. I think he just thinks that maybe this connection is not the best thing for her to invest her energy on. Um, but I think it's only because he looks out for her and he loves her. You know, sometimes with friends, it's like, you have your opinions, right? It doesn't mean that your opinion is 100% correct, but you just love your friend and sometimes you just can't help but give your two cents. Um, that's the way I see it. I, I don't think he's 100% excited about this connection, but it's just because he's looking out for her. Um, but yeah. Anyways, next question is BTS, Jungkook and Jimin relationship after enlisting together. Are they now closer than before? So BTS, Jungkook and Jimin relationship after enlisting together. Ooh. Actually, yeah, this judgment card just... Um, they now balance each other out much better. Look at this. We have Justice, we have Judgment, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I think more than ever now, they appreciate each other more. They're more like family. Um, they reached almost kind of like a, a point in their friendship where... It's almost like a rebirth happened. They see each other in a new light. They appreciate each other in a new light. They fear more. They feel more balanced. Things that would make them fight with one another doesn't happen anymore now, because they appreciate each other. So yeah, to answer your question, uh, they are. They are one hundred percent closer than before. You know, this is so interesting because that's also what I got from Taeyang and J Hope. Taeyang and J Hope are like the best they've ever been. Yeah, look at this maybe in the past 
there could also be some ego at play um, about one upping each other not in a bad way but it's almost like oh you can do it let me show you what i can do in like a funny playful way but now their connection feels a lot more solid more like a house like are you feeling sad let me be there to console you let me be there to listen to you let me be your shoulder to cry on i'm your brother i'm your family i will be there for you so 100 percent, i love this energy so much um they are definitely closer than before in this current energy okay in this current energy um okay thank you so much so now next question is red velvet irene red velvet irene personality oh Oh, she's changing her personality a lot, you guys. Lately. Lately. Oh my goodness. So her personality has changed a lot in the last maybe three to four months. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse. We have the Empress upright and the Five of Swords. There are certain personality traits that she feels no longer works for her. And I think she used to think, oh, but this is me. This is my personality. So that means I'm like this. But I think she's realized now that she's ever changing. And she's not the same person that she used to be even a year ago anymore. So she's letting go of parts of herself that doesn't feel true to her anymore. Okay, So it used to be with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords that it was difficult to approach her maybe it took a long time even the people closest to her to really get to know who she is but now in reverse it feels like she's able to open up to the people she trusts or to the people that she feels an instant connection with straight off the bat you don't have to wait one two three five years to really get to know irene if she feels i trust you and i have a good feeling about this connection she will let you in straight off the bat now she is connecting more with her yin energy, with her empress energy, which means she is a lot more open, welcoming, soft, nurturing, loving, creative. I think she's just a lot more in her feminine energy now, um, as opposed to her yang masculine energy. So maybe in the past, she would be come off a little bit more aloof, a little bit more cold. And now there's a warmth to her. Okay, now there's a warmth to her. And I think she's also not bothered about trying to prove her intention or prove her point of view to people anymore if people don't get it she's like ah, that's fine you're just not it for me and i don't even need to fight you on it that's fine you can think what you think and i'll think what i think so i think this is a very very good change that's happening to irene but that's uh how she is now anything else in regards to irene's personality oh. we have the nine of wands we have the devil, we have the sun in reverse, we have the ace of cups, and we have the ten of swords in reverse. She realized that she was keeping a lot of people at bay. She almost built this wall around her and she wasn't allowing other people in. But she realized that this was actually to the detriment of herself because it wasn't that other people were losing out on her. She was also losing out on other people. So she's realized this is a really bad habit. I need to stop doing this. I need to stop keeping people out just to keep myself safe because that means I'm also keeping out experiences for me. So what she's doing now is she's allowing herself to love people more freely and allowing others to love her more freely too. So with the Ace of Cups and the Empress, this is very much an energy, you guys. Her love is overflowing. I think she's a lot more funny, a lot more expressive, a lot more nurturing, a lot more feminine, a lot like when I say feminine, it's more just like warmth. Her she's exuding warmth right now. So I love it so much. I love this energy so much. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. So now final question is Exo Chanyol's personality. I hope I'm saying his name right. Exo Chanyol's personality. No, not this deck. Okay. Exo Chanyol. Exo Chanyol's personality. Current energy. Personality. Mm. Oh, no, not this deck. Okay, sorry guys. One second. Chanyol's personality. Ooh. Oh. He is feeling very optimistic right now. 
Wow. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Three of Cups in reverse. Hmm. We have the World, we have the Two of Wands, we have the Fool, we have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. I love this so much. First of all, he has a very, very big heart. I think when he's going through a difficult time, he doesn't want to burden people. So I think here's the thing with the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups. He doesn't want to burden the people he loves. He loves so hard, you guys. When it comes to his friendships and um, the people around him, he's like, I don't want to make you feel like you have to carry the weight on my shoulders. I'll carry it to myself. To the world, he wants to seem optimistic. He wants to seem like he's someone that's got a very good head on his shoulder. He wants to seem like he's very energetic and positive and things like that. Even 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 though, sorry, he's carrying a lot of burden behind closed doors. So he doesn't want to burden people with the things that he's carrying. I see that he's a very loving person. He loves very, very deeply. He takes his connections very deeply too with the Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups here. When he gives you his friendship and his love, he is serious about it. It's not something that he gives away mm, with ease. He gives a lot of love away, but it's still not at ease. It doesn't mean that if he cares about you, it's just something that like, yeah, I can care about you today, but I'm, I'm going to stop caring about you tomorrow. No, if I give you my heart and my friendship, that means you have it. Okay, trust that I will be there for you. Um, he's someone that's very optimistic. I think he has so many plans for the future and I think he's feeling very, very optimistic. In fact, you guys, I think from now until February um, is like a time where he's feeling very, very inspired and very much in his mind and very much like, I wanna do this, I wanna do that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, I'm going to stop the reading right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I'm a little bit out of breath. I This is part two of the Q&A, but I've actually just been shh, like doing all 17, 18, 19 questions <laughs> back to back. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot, but I want to make sure I answer as many questions for you guys as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves, take your vitamins, get enough sleep. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I hope I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.